Welcome to Daily Game, the channel that provides tutorials and reviews on the tools helping you make an impact in the world with your music and content. And in this video, we're going to do a tutorial on New Jack Swing, but we're not going to do it in the more traditional way, or actually this is one of the ways that you can do it. And um, so I got the NPC on the screen right here. We got the NPC right here in front of me, got my keyboard. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make a simple new jack swing groove and we're going to use a uh, uh, one third uh, 16th notes or 16th triplet notes so i'll give you an example of what those sound like real quick so 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 if i were to play a 16th note and this is a bpm about a 111 16th notes are like okay and then if i did a one third 16th note and I'm doing this via note repeat on MPC. Hear the difference? So if I were to do a beat like this, one, two, three, four. So that's, those are four, right? And so if I added six thief notes, it would sound like this. But I want to do is give you that, that, new that new jack swing feel. So instead of it sounding like this, we're going to use this as a foundation right here. Because what we're going to use is those 16th notes to add a swing. Now, you can add swing to any of these sequences to give you that kind of shuffly swing feel, that new jack swing feel. But in this tutorial, we're going to use one third. I keep saying one third, but one 16th triplets. Uh, this actually provides a perfectly swung template, but you have to make sure that you play it in the right time. So I got, a, you know, just a simple sounds here. And I got some chords set up, so... So I got some simple chords there, and we're just going to make a simple groove. Oh. Uh. And what I'm going to do is show you the difference. So this is how it would sound like if I if I use 16th notes that are not triplets. You're going to hear how straight it sounds, and then we're going to redo it again with a one third or one sixteenth triplets. All right, two, three, four. Right, so what we have right there is just a straight, straight 16th note. All right, so now what we're gonna do is show you how it sounds with the 16th note triplets. So let's hear how this sounds. So I'm gonna make sure I quantize to the 16th note triplets. Two, three, four. And you can add that. So instead of playing 16th notes that are straight, hear that straight? We're going to swing it a little bit. We're going to let the, the uh, 16th note triplets catch it so that we can get on the right thing. Because if I just played 16th notes all the way through, it's going to sound like this which works, but we don't want all of them. We just want some of them, though. It's kind of hard to catch it with the note repeat unless you're really quick and really focusing on it. So we're just going to play it. And we're just going to add it like that instead with the quantized set to 16th note triplets. Right? And we can just add more sounds like there. So just add some takers. Hey, can you stick them in there? And just keep adding layers just like that. So I'm going to add some more sound effects, sound effects like this. And we're just going to add some more sounds. I got another drum kit. I'm just going to add a little, a little snare sound. 
two, three, four, and... And now what I can do with that is I can just add some chords to it. And this is just a basic chord. Let's put that down. And now I just put the, the screen up there so you can see that I'm using the MPT software. But really, I want you to use more of your ears for this. So you can see that I got that going there. I got some chords. And that's basically how you do that. So, and if I want to do like a turnaround, so let's let's do a turnaround. Let's add let's add to this. Let's do a. So I'm gonna I'm gonna duplicate this, and we're gonna add like a little little drum fill in there. Kind of like how you do it in the back of the day. Four, two, three, four. So I'm actually going to punch in. So you can punch in on different platforms, but, but I'm going to show you how to do it on the MPC. So in the menu, I can go, or in the time frame, I can go up to the top here, and I can select punch in. And, and I, what I want to do is punch out at the end of the groove. I've extended it to four bars. And so on that fourth bar, I want everything cleared out. And I'm going to do a a drum fill right up in there. So that da 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 boom 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 right. So let's try that. So I'm going to punch it in. We're going to start at the first measure. One, two, three. Here we go. Listen to how that sounds. Here we go. All right. So the concept here is just understanding that you can you can make new jack swing with the swing applied to your notes. And that means that the computer is taking your straight notes. And 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 so, for example, if I turn up the swing here, notice we're going to hear it's a little bit of that same thing. So I'm actually applying swing there. Hear that little difference? But that's computer doing it. But if you want to do it manually, you can do this. But then you have to find the notes in there. So you have to actually play it by hand. But these are, are a couple of ways you can do it. But with that swing turned on, on regular 16th notes. Now I'm doing it with note repeat. I'm not even, you know, it's all happening. So there's a couple of ways you can do it to get that new jack swing bouncing and things like that. So that's how you do new jack swing. It's, it's, and there's a whole lot more things to it. There's a lot of uh, uh, layers you can do in front of that. Maybe I can start working on some more new jack swings, but I need you to let me know in the comments below. So if you like this type of tutorial, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't make sure, just do it. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Give me some feedback in the comments below so that I can get some more input and then that'll help me figure out what tutorial to do next for this channel. And I really, I really appreciate all you guys coming by. This has been another tutorial from Dilly Gang. See y'all later. Peace out.